Hi, my name is Rina. I am a PhD candidate in robotics, and this is This Week in Robots. So something that roboticists love to say is that robots will be ubiquitous in our life. Um, well, that's not quite the reality yet. Um, restaurant chains like Chick-fil-A and Kura Sushi are starting to use restaurant server robots like this to help take care of customers. Now, I don't know if you've seen one of these robots before. Um, I've seen them at a few restaurants and essentially what they do is um, they bring your food and drinks um, to you on the little trays that they have and they play fun jingles and sometimes they give you a little smiley face. Now, in one of the restaurants, we were one of the two tables there and um, I essentially watched our waiter load up the food onto the robot and kind of watch the robot scoot its way to us. It was kind of awkward and it doesn't make much sense because aren't these robots supposed to be saving busy restaurants? Well, I went on the best part of the internet, Reddit, and turns out these robots are quite a hassle to deal with and um, it's almost like you have to hire an extra person to just deal with the robot. Now, um, under the hood, this is not surprising at all, these robots are um, essentially extra large Roombas. Um, so a lot of them use SLAM, which is simultaneous localization and mapping. Um, it's just a fancy way of saying that the robot is making a map of the environment and constantly checking where it is right now. And all these robots are trying to do is to try to get from the kitchen to table 13 without running into a person or a wall. And um, fancier models have um, depth sensors and LiDAR and they've also got extra sensors on the tray themselves uh, to essentially figure out when you pick up the food so the robot can leave. Um, now we've all gotten the sense that um, these robots are more of a novelty and a gimmick uh, rather than actual helps um, to the restaurant or the restaurant staff. In the next video, um, we're going to explore what this says about how robots actually exist in our society right now. So I'll see you in the next video.